Oh, they got some mailbag items here, so we'll get stuck into them. Yeah. Yeah, 14. That's pretty quick. I didn't know that a couple of days ago. Alright, let's have a look. Yeah, oh. Some stuff's back ordered, of course. Sold at a few Transformers. Even though they had stock on the website, they're back ordered. That's helpful. So, got this little transformer here, little piece of email one. Let's have a look. So, 230 volt primary, 9 volt secondary. So, I thought that'd be a nice little PCB mount transformer. It's like $4 or something for that one. Not very expensive at all. So, uh, I thought I'd get that one to have in stock. So, when I need to bake a little power supply. Regulator supply needs, then I've got one. Well, it doesn't tend to stay on the phone, really, what is it? And uh, the other box. I'm into it. Multi tap transformer. And I think this is the one I was planning on using on the high voltage uh, leakage tester. So you can do different uh, combinations. I just need to figure out which one it is. I've forgotten now. Uh, which model is this one? 231 210 231 10 so 230 volts secondary 110 milliamps that's in series so it's got dual 115 volt outputs I'm not sure which size which I think it's got dual input as well, remember rightly. So yeah, it's got 115 volts on each winding. So you can use it in different combinations. So I think I bought more than one of those actually. But uh, So you can do 230 across the outer winding by linking those inner ones together. Um, and the same for the output on the secondary side. You need 230 or 115. Well, two lots of 115 or link them together. And the 115 is what I want anyway for this um, leakage tester. So I'm going to put 230 on one side, 115 on the other, because this is much smaller than the transformer I'm currently using, which is why I bought this one. So this is what will be used in the leakage tester. Let's see what's in here. A couple of new security cameras. Currently in the process of updating my entire system to IP cameras. So these are what I could get. So it's 1080p cameras. So nice high resolution. This is 3.6mm lens. And I think the other one's the same. Yeah, exactly the same one. So I've got two of the same unit there. So uh, very much like all the other types you get, which are fairly cheap. But um, quality is obviously a lot better being an IP camera, especially 1080p instead of the old analog system. Let's see what's in here.
Now this is... Hmm, it's got a spare one. Yeah, I remember in the previous mailbag I did a... I received a battery adapter thing for the, the camera I'm using right now. And um, it didn't fit because it wasn't actually quite for this camera. It was a different variant which didn't have the um, same issue on this one. Because this one has to have the battery door closed in order for the camera to operate. So this is a different version which is basically the same thing, same power supply, same voltages, it's the same power supply. Um, here is the other one over here, All right? it looks exactly the same. Different part number but it looks exactly the same. Uh, outputs 7.4 volt and 8 volts, so this has actually got a slightly higher voltage. Um, so that's probably okay anyway. So yeah, this is just replace the battery, and you just plug that into there, plug mains into this end of the charger, not exactly complicated, and this should mean I don't have to use batteries on this thing all the time, which I then have to recharge. Also, the times when batteries will be helpful, but uh, it means I won't have to rely on it. If a battery's going flat, I can just plug this in and use this instead. Uh, so was it called an E18 or something? Uh, yeah, it's called a DRE18. DC coupler. So I can't remember how much this was now, it wasn't that expensive. But uh, well worth having I think. Just took a while to get right on which actually worked. Well I assume it works. So thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. Um, much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting me to help me buy items for mailbag or projects to work on, you know, bits of test equipment to repair, that kind of thing. Any money that goes goes towards that is helpful because it is expensive buying test equipment to do repairs on, especially if I'm not actually going to be using it that much or it's something I could do without. Or, you know, as in most cases, you can do without things. So having a Patreon supporters and people that donate to me via PayPal is is very helpful. So if you're interested in helping support me and um, you know contribute to the channel, um, then please check out my Patreon page, my PayPal donation options, which are down in the description down there. Click on the Show More tab, which is down there. So um, Thank you very much for not supporting me. I enjoy making videos, enjoy showing what I'm playing around with. It was just originally I was going to video bits of what I'm doing at the time. I was, you know, if I'm working on something, I'll do a video of that and slap it up, which was going to be rather random and erratic. And I've ended up basically turning my life into doing YouTube videos and buying things and trying to create content to keep you guys entertained. Yeah, if you want to support me, that's great. Because um, that certainly be appreciated. Because this is an expensive hobby. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Click the bell icon. Bye.